Let's watch the good deck building in action, shall we? Trevor May is on your left. Charles Powell is on your right. Scred Red versus Seamus. <laughs> Did you see that I can cast it? Even though, even though it's ostensibly a, a exiled and gone forever, this card endorsed that. Yep. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> <laughs> a relic of Virginia's. Off of a snow covered mountain to start for Trevor, for Charles Powell, playing unclaimed territory naming humans along with a noble hierarch. It does not look like Trevor has many cards. Am I right about that? This looks like a mulligan to six to six? me. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, cough. Yeah, you, you, you've won an open with that thing. I have. Your old buddy. Yep. 4X. What world is cough from anyway? Is he ever going to come back? Did he die? He was in Mirrodin. I, did, I hope he lived. I hope he comes back. I think cough is sweet. To see like a new version of the cost. Sweet design. And you can see May, uh, considering the scred here, normally that would just be a no-brainer. I'm worried he's actually given away some information. You can see the reason for pausing there is the copy of Anger of the Gods and mm -hmm. wanting to see if there was a way to get a little bit more there. But uh, if you're playing against a creature deck with Noble Hierarch, that Anger of the Gods is probably going to be good at some point. You don't need to necessarily shoot the moon starting on that turn. Now remember, folks, oh boy, the Freebooter. Freebooter's good against this deck. Yes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can we take a look at Kite Tail Freebooter? I think it's about to exile card. Oh, yeah. That's, uh, that's, that's a bingo. There you go. There you go. I'll take this. doesn't really help me get anywhere on my bingo board. It still but feels nice. It, yeah, any time to punch. Anger of the Gods is going to be exiled. Thanks, Free Booter. It's like Eternal Scourge and exiling it. Is it. Do you win the game? <laughs> no, probably not. But does it feel good? That's the real question. You choose a non-creature, non-land card from it. It being the opponent's hand. Exile that card until Kite Sail Free Booter leaves the battlefield. Oh. So, May has oh. picked up a Blood Moon. Ooh, that's... And for humans, that's tough. If they don't have a Vile? Yeah, it's tough. It is tough. They have a Plains as a basic land in their deck. Maybe I should just cast Blood Moon at the Pro Tour. Sure. Be that person. Well, guy, yeah. The newest Mega Man villain. <laughs> Blood Moon guy. Blood Moon guy. Do, 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 do. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's frustrating enough. I hate when people cast it against me. Pass. Huh. Was that a pass? No. No way. Charles Powell's not done with his turn yet. No way. What would you be playing around by passing? And not attacking and various other things. I think he yeah, might I'm have a question. Yeah, I'm trying to... Th okay. Shouldn't assume anything here. No. So it looked like he may have had a question for a judge. Oh, meddling mage. Her. Ah! That would explain it. That makes some more sense. I do not know the cards that my opponent has. Mm-hmm. Okay. There's Meddling Mage. Imagine Koth of the Hammer as the... He knows the about that yeah. one. I mean, we'll confirm what's being named here in just a moment. Noble Hierarch. Is, is Noble Hierarch's good right now. Yeah, certainly um, uh, very good against the potential Blood Moon. Mm -hmm. Koth of the Hammer, the name with the Meddling Mage. Relic of Regenesis will be sacrificed. Draw a card. Looking for land number three. I think you found land number three. Draw another card. Okay. Is that a mouth of Ronom? And I uh, yes. What year is this? Blood Moon time. Gonna lock down all those lands. Now the question is, can Charles Powell cast like any more spells? I guess Thalia's Lieutenant can still be cast. Thalia can still be cast. Thanks to this Noble Hierarch. Well, here's the concern here: yeah. is the the uh, sequence of plays lined up here for May? Is Chandra minusing to kill the Freebooter? And then Anger of the Gods is unlocked. Is that good enough? Well, it may not be. But Powell can put on a lot of pressure over the next two turns, uh, and he doesn't know. And he doesn't know about the sequence that's coming up potentially. But if Powell doesn't put on a lot of pressure very soon or have some other workaround, that will be good enough. Because mm -hmm. then Charles Powell will be locked out of the game. Yeah, he's drawing two Aether Vial to get his hand to do anything. Mm -hmm. And Trevor has leftovers as well because. Uh, Koth would be available. Yep. Melee means we off the battlefield. And you start going, going to work. Let's see what this is. Phantasmal image. Copy to Free Buddha. Yeah, that's big. It's pretty nice, actually. Trevor Megan lay out his hand. Chandra, Koth, and the mouth. Mouth of the south. 
Just about in like everything else. Yeah. Yeah, you have the Meddling Mage on Koth, you take the other spell here. Now Trevor is drawing really heavy. I mean, the, anything that collapses this house of cards, Powell loses all the threats and gets locked out of the game. But for now, May's hand doesn't do anything. He drew a Storm Breath Dragon. Okay. And can't cast <laughs> and can't cast Koth. So all he can do is pass the turn back, all right? Slow grind. Three Stormbat Dragons in the deck. Okay. The big draws here are Lightning Bolt and Scred. You kill the Freebooter with Anger underneath of it, and then you, you, are, the anger. Yeah. you are in the clear from that point on. And you know what? Stormbreath Dragon, if you cast that, can play some defense. What is this? Oh, boy. Thalia Heretic Cathar. Um, Stormbreath Dragon just got worse. But he's still drawing to Bolt or Scred just the same way. Mm-hmm. And that other copy of Anger. How about Ratchet Bomb? Might be a little slow here. Might be a little too slow. Definitely too slow. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, Ratchet Bomb's no good. Trevor May needs one of those one-mana removal spells. That's what he needs. Yeah. For as bad as this is, he's still, if he's able to find a Bolt or a Scred, uh, I think his, his position becomes dominating. Draw a card. Now, if there's a Thalia's Attendant here, this game is over. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, Thalia's Attendant ends the game immediately. Lights out. Well, is that true if he has to tap the Noble Hierarch? Yes, Thalia is four, four five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep, yep, it's there on the go. nose. No Lieutenant, though. Here come the beatdown. It's going to take four, five, six, seven, eight. Down to three goes Trevor May. He's in search of an Anger of the Gods. He would love to draw, what is this, Champion of the Parish? Sure. It's all the same. Put a counter on the bomb. One removal spell. One removal spell. Land's not going to do it. Another Blood Moon's not going to do it. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of disruption from the humans deck. More than enough. Trevor May is going to pass the turn back, perhaps hoping that Charles Powell will not do any attacking, but I promise that he will. I think Phantasmal Image is a really... Big evolution for this deck. Super good in here. Yeah. Super good. Really big step forward. Aya! All the creatures are turning sideways except for the champion of the parish. You can blow it up all you like, Trevor May, but you are going to be down a game as Charles Powell able to work himself through a blood moon. Thanks to that noble hierarch. Humans quickly up a game here over Scred Red, though I do think this matchup is difficult for the human side of things. Well, it, it, there's a lot of spot removal in the Scred Red deck, and uh, if Powell doesn't have a Aether Vial or maybe a Noble Hierarch, then Blood Moon is really problematic. But May also has a lot of nonsense in his deck and has no selection or way to smooth out his draws. And that's kind of what you saw in that game. Well, game number one of the books, game number two, about to be underway. And while these players get ready for it, we're going to hear a couple messages from our sponsors.
Game number two about to be underway here in just a moment. Between Trevor May and Charles Powell, Scred Red and Humans. We'll take a look at Trevor's sideboard here very quickly. Four Molten Rain, three Dragon's Claw, two Goblin Rabble Master, two Shattering Spree, a Kozlex Return, a Roast, a Dismember, and a Ricochet Trap. Talk to me about this sideboard. Uh, I really like the Kozlex Return, the Roast, and the Dismember. Uh, Rabble Master probably more for control matchups, and um, Powell just blocks too well. Uh, Molten Rain... Dragon's Claws, Shattering Spree, not Ricochet Trap, not really for this matchup. For Charles Powell, Force Sin Collector, two Dismember, two Is It Zeta Caster, two Vithian Renegades, two Zathrum Necromancer, a Fiend Hunter, a Grab Trigger's Cage, and a Singleton copy of Anafenza Zeformos. I think when you're playing against this much removal, uh, Zathrum Necromancer is just a, a great card to be bringing in. And May has enough spells where I, I think the Sin Collector is also appropriate. Well, those are the options there for both players. See them shuffling up, getting ready here for game number two. So that'll be underway here in just a bit. So we'll pull those sideboards down, and we'll get ready to watch game number two between Trevor May and Charles Powell. Take a look at my bingo board here. Can I get someone with pregame effects, please? Is that too much to ask? I haven't seen a ley line in a long time. Gemstone Cavern. Yeah. Je is Gemstone Cavern a pregame? Oh, yeah. That count that's oh, pregame? Oh, yeah, that's a okay. pregame. Because I don't think we're going to see a Dryad Arbor all weekend. And then I, I think Ross, uh, I think Ross, like, X and 3, I think the only player playing Dredge. Two people playing Dredge. Ross is one of them. So Conflagrate. That's not looking great. And then Invocation is just completely random. Who knows? And we also have to keep Ross off camera because I kiss can't handle anymore. <laughs> oh, my neck's great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sort of conversation. Dredge great. I'm great. I'm great. All things great. Pulling out a late line, beat it easily. Or, you know. You know we haven't had Tarmogoyf on camera once this weekend? Is that? I think that might be right. That's I'm actually, trying to think. Yeah. I don't no, think we've had. I mean, how many copies of Jund and Obzon do we have in day two? Like zero, right? One there's, or... there's one Jund. Uh, <laughs> I don't see any Obzon. How many of these decks could actually cast Tarmogoyf? There, there's very few. There's very our... few, actually. Yeah. It's surprising. That's wild. The modern staple, just no play at all. Unreal. Even like the decks that have green, like Green White Company, they don't play Tarmogoyf. No. Forget that. Like, give me a voice resurgence or something. I don't know. Yeah, they're not really just looking for numbers on the table. Here we go. Relic Progenitus. Pass the turn back. There's an unclaimed territory. And that's Noble Hierarch. Pass it over to Trevor May. May will draw a lightning bolt. Let's see if he wants to bolt the Hierarch here again. Hey, Mary, this is a Blood Moon deck after all. There's a scrying sheet. Nice. And especially with no sweeper in hand. And you want to give your breathing space to get to the sheets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's that bolt. Here's another relic. Remove the noble hierarch. Pass the turn back. Go back over to Charles Powell, who will draw a card. Picked up a copy of Mantis Rider. Also, now he's covered from the freebooter, because his hand is just Stormbird Dragon, Penalar, and... Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah, yeah, I got him. Yep. <laughs> the whiff. Now your curve is all set up. <laughs> you either cast a spell next see, turn. I see we're using, you, you peel I next see, turn. I see we're using curve rather lightly here. The curve with the sheets is all set yeah. up. The card drawing engine is online. Let's take a look at scrying sheets. This was one of my favorite cards. It really was. Like, you know, like when this came out, what, like yeah. 10 years ago or something? Longer than that, I think. Well, Cold Snap. Easily one of my favorite cards. Trevor May going to draw a card. See, people used to call it Scrying Cheats because it was so good. Really? I don't recall that at oh, all. Oh, yeah. Here it is. Look at this. Snowland. Use one in a snow and tap it. Look at the top card of your library. If, if that card is snow. If that card is snow, how's it that? is not a great template. How's that template? Or good English. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you may reveal it and put it in your hand if it's snow. If it's snow. Because I guess there's other snow permanents besides lands in the set. Is that true? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's snow creatures and other things. I, think. I didn't know if those got the tag. I'm pretty sure they were snow. It's been a, it's been a long time since I've played the format, but like it's a snow fox. Yeah, I think this is true. Here's Mantis Rider, not snow. <laughs> in for four. Let's go take. Uh, I guess maybe. Well, now he's got to figure out. Do I try to get the free value off the sheets, or do I need help here and just sacrifice the relics? We need we need help right oh, now. Oh, and the top card was a mountain. The sheets would have gone off. Mm -hmm. Another mountain. Heartbreak. Yep. <laughs> We would have been sheets flooded. Instead, going to take four in the air. Pass it over to Trevor May. 
picked up a copy of Scred. I think Trevor is going to do it this game. I mean, his hand's good. Stormbreath Dragon. A Scred. The long game already sewn up with the sheets. Yeah. <laughs> the longer we go, the better it gets. Apparently, Boreal Druid is a, is a snow creature. Okay. It's, so excuse me, good. excuse me. It's snow. Snow, it's yeah. It's snow. I like it. There's probably some dragon that's snow in this. I remember, like, I yeah, think that, that big owl was snow. Yeah. Rhyme Feather Owl, he's lost that stupid thing. Yeah, it's gotta be. Let's go to Charles Powell now. Yeah. If it is snow, <laughs> let it go. That is, uh, taking some liberties with yeah. the English language. It's okay. Yeah. It's a game with made up things. Right. It's fine. Yeah, Bone Splitter on my river, Bella. Yeah. That's what I <laughs> I don't know. That's my go-to example. Yeah. I don't know. Cast Ravnish Chupacabra. Like, yeah. It's just a bunch of made-up yeah, just, just made things. Chupacabra, your sky sovereign. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is our finest boat <laughs> from the land of Kaladesh. <laughs> I will kill it with my dog. Okay. Yeah. I see a hand of Scred, P and Kirindilar, number two, Stormbreath Dragon, number one, and the fifth land to cast it. That's what the Freebooter's looking at. That'd be a good time for Meddling Mage, I think. Sort of. I mean, P and Karen Lillard do a nice job against that. Yep. There's Thaddeus Lieutenant. It's not bad. So this is not bad, but, uh, you know, the, the downside of this is I don't think Powell's very well equipped to handle Stormbreath Dragon. Mm -mm. It's going to have a 4-4 four, four per white creature checks everything that Powell has, and then uh, make him start to pivot there, grind down with the scrying sheets, Try to leverage P and Lar a little bit. All right, there's your block there. Take three in the air. I like this chump here from from May. Uh, I think the long game really favors him um, because he's drawing to so many planeswalkers and anger of the gods. If he keeps his life total high, gives himself the opportunity to, you know, spin the sheets a little bit, hang back and block, you know, leave Powell with no good attacks. Uh, eventually, he'll find something really big. Stormbreath Dragon has arrived. Reflector Mage can't touch that one. But it is a good target for Phantasmal Image. I will say that. But uh, it's not. Uh, Phantasmal Image is not the hardest thing for May to handle because he has the PMLR. It's true. It's true. So his position is not. It is not a lock by any means. No. But May is in a really good position right here. Didn't get a great look at the draw. And so many of Powell's threats are white. And once May untaps, then he has P and Alar with a Thopter, and that really complicates potential attacks that Powell can make. I know there's a Thalia Heretic Cathar in Charles Powell's hand. Let's see what else is over there, though. There's a champion of the parish. That'll grow Thalia's lieutenant so long as Charles Powell remembers the trigger. Unclear if he has or hasn't. Yeah, I don't know if we're waiting for dice or. Yeah, and well now here is a Thalia heretic Cathar. Yeah. Okay, so he's remembered at least one. Well, that's it's getting messy. Dice party. All right, so he's got one there. So he missed one of them. I thought he was lieutenant. Battlefield's pretty uh, pretty well built up here for Charles Powell. Just but no real good attacks. May still had a pretty healthy life total here. Mm -hmm. And he's drawing to every piece of spot removal, Anger of the Gods, this Planeswalkers. He's just got a lot of really good draws from this spot. Snow-covered mountain, not exactly what the doctor ordered. Trevor May, 10 and 2 here with Scred Red, down a game against humans. One of the two players in day number two here in Columbus with Scred Red. He'll play a snow covered mountain. Six men on the battlefield now. And 
the Scred and the Relic of Progenitus in hand. Yeah, there's a lot of complicated decisions here. For example, he can use Pia and Keenan Alar and the Thopter to shoot down one of the two twos. Uh, that would leave him enough mana to activate Scrying Sheets. Does he instead want to play the Relic of Progenitus to get it out of his hand to play around Kytesil Freebooter? Mm -hmm. And then if you end up having to use the P and the R, then you're down your Scrying Sheets activation. So there's a lot going on here. All right, there's Relic. If you think that Powell really isn't in a position to attack you next turn, then just hang tight. Then just, there's no reason to, to do anything here. And with Stormbreath Dragon swallowing up an attacker, plus uh, the Thopter available to chump and shoot something down, I think May's position is strong enough here that he can afford to just send the turn back. Powell draw. And I like playing the Relic that previous turn, even if he's giving up a little bit of uh, potential equity with, with PNLR and the Scrying Sheets, because of it isn't just beating, it isn't just playing around Freebooter, but Phantasmal Image as well. Here's Reflector Mage. Gonna go after Pia and Kieran. I mean, this suggests to me that, that Powell is planning to make a, a large attack this turn. Mm hmm. Ooh, going to let those triggers resolve. I'm a little surprised by that. I guess I should just kill Thalia. Yeah, my instinct would have been to just kill... I would have broken the Relic to see for a little bit more information, and then... Yeah, I wouldn't have let those triggers resolve right away. Because now the, the Thopter doesn't... I guess he can still kill... Kill Thalia. Thalia with a Thopter, so that's fine. I mean, that might be just a thing you want off the battlefield anyway because of the text. Well, especially if you're going to play Pia Nalar next turn. You would really like to get Thalia's Lieutenant uh, off the battlefield. The following, the following turn. I'm saying right. next turn, uh, uh, I would put a premium on getting Thalia off the battlefield this turn. Sure. Because next turn, if you play P and Kiernalar, it's so much worse if Thalia's on the battlefield. Yeah, 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 yeah. All I'm saying is because of Reflector Mage's text, it's not going to be able to come for another turn. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so two turns from yeah. now. That's all. So Thalia died? Yes. How? Uh, I thought he sacked a Thopter. So there's only one Thopter. There, that, I'm pretty sure that Thopter in play should be dead. Well, he sacrificed the Relic. Was there... Oh, you can sack an Artifact, not just a Thopter. Right. Sack the Relic to kill it. Never mind. There we go. Brain's on. Here come the Knuckleheads. Oh, Stormbreath Dragon gets to eat something. Probably just Manus Rider. Well, the alternative, the alternative is Stormbreath Dragon in front of the Freebooter to unlock your Scred and chump block one of the 4-4s. Four mm -hmm. You still got a Scred in hand? No, I think the hand is just two copies of P and Kieran Alar. Okay. All right, two copies of P and Kieran it is. Yeah, I, this is my, I think this is my preferred block. You end up taking two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A lot. I guess, well, I guess, you, I guess you get your scred back. Yeah, though. it's hard to avoid taking a lot of damage yeah. this turn. The the alternative block is Storm Breath Dragon eats one of the four fours, and you do whatever you want with the Thopter. I think that block is better if you think you're only drawing to Anger of the Gods next turn, mm -hmm. and you just need to hit as hard as you can. Um, but if you think that you can win the game with a normal draw step, then get your scred back and go for it next turn. Although he is currently facing down lethal as the hand is composed. You're blocking a 4-4, four, four, you're killing a 4-4, four, four, and two four six sevens coming across. Yeah. So... It's a bit of an issue. Ratchet Bomb the draw. Not good. This might be the same daily dollar short Ratchet Bomb we saw from the last game. Yeah. Turn earlier would have been great. That Reflector Mage was pretty darn good. Yep. Yeah. But we've said that over the years. We're fighting mages. Pretty, pretty good. Career. Good against creatures. Pretty <laughs> More top level analysis to come. Yeah. Another reflector. Can't target Stormbreath Dragon, but can 
Can't draw a card with Rising Canopy, so that's exactly where Charles Powell will start. Ancient Ziggurat in hand also. Now I want to play humans again. Great. You're back. Great. We've come full circle. Be two, three in leagues in no time. Probably starting tonight. So I, I think Powell has to send in everything here because, you know, he needs to have two cards to survive the attack. And you know you're playing against P in the law next turn. And the Ratchet Bomb's at one. Yeah. So you're, suddenly you're, you're down your champions. I, I like just adding to the table as much as you can and attacking with everything. Yeah, just getting there with everybody. Yeah, I think it, odds that, are really good that your attack's good and you can't... Uh, next turn's getting so much worse for you. And we even saw kind of the shoulder shrug. Meh, I just got to do this, so... Here they all come. Stormbreath Dragon can get in front of Mana Rider. Scry can take care of Champion of the Parish, but it'll be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That'll come through. Charles Powell going to win this match over Trevor May. Two games to zero. Humans going to take care of Scrad Red. And again, humans with the disruption. You know, those disruptive creatures were good in game one and game two. Meddling Mage, Kitesil Freebooter. You know, you can add in Phantasmal Image. And heck, even that Thalia 